so for those using uh, ubuntu or you know a linux system and they want to still get used to it this is another option to uh, get jupyter on your phone so what you will need is this app called termox so come to this site uh, you can either download the android play store or whatever or you can just download this application here 97 megabytes right i've already downloaded it so after installation this is what you will get then you open it up so as you can see first one pkg install is up there install root hyphen repo i have already done this so this should be quick then also pkg install x11 repo i've also done this so this should be quick then what you would do is uh, apt update right so you wait for it to uh, run it will get a list of files that you need to update then run apt upgrade so again i've already done all these things so you are not seeing anything new right then what you do next is to install python on your phone so apt install so either you do python just like that or you just add a three right so i've also done this in my python version this is how to check your python version all right python 3 version so it's quite latest and uh, you also check your pip version so so instead of typing hyphen hyphen version you could, you could also type hyphen then capital v so the pip is also quite latest if it's not right if it's not then you just run python uh i think play um pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip right so yeah this will upgrade your pip normally after installation is around uh 20 point something so it will upgrade it to the 22.1.2 right so after you've done all this right then you go to uh, apt install you have to install a certain uh, dependency that is already missing is lip z m z kill yeah lip z m kill so i've already installed the one as well then you go ahead and type pip install jupyter so i've already installed it so you're just running through the dependency and making sure that everything is there then after that you're you're almost done so you just go pip install and then you install the the modules that you will need right so numpy you can type them one by one but you can also add them all together matplotlib uh, scipy uh, what else pandas so yeah so we are installing them it will take a while So I am going to pause it or oh, we will let it be let it be. We will take a while. That is the thing. So as you can see the thermos is looking something similar to the Jupiter terminal, right? So this is also a way to practice uh 
I mean, I mean the Ubuntu terminal. This is a way to practice how to use the terminal. Right? You can you can install the Termux and be running all these things. so I had to cancel it for a while but you just let it run right anyway and there's another thing to do is to enable storage first let's clear the screen to enable the thermos to you know get access to your storage you run the command thermox hyphen setup hyphen storage right then enter I've, I've already enabled it so you know that's why it's saying all these things then you just choose normally to not come it'll just ask you to allow storage whatever then click on allow allow right so now you can just run a jupyter notebook just like that then press enter then the local host will load but this one is a little bit different instead of it automatically opening your browser since we've not given it that kind of access right you just long press whatever is written down there click on more right then click on select url so these are the three urls that you can use to access your jupyter notebook normally i like using the last one right the each and every one of them will do the same thing though you just long press then voila so as you can see we enable storage that is why we can see our storage over here if we didn't we wouldn't be seeing our storage over here so storage you choose any storage that you want to do your stuff in or you can also choose to create a new storage over here right so a new one titled folder we go to the folder again go to our new python 3 then print hi works right we change this to markdown Try header h run this uh, it works sometimes it takes a while but it works again you don't need internet connection order the internet off you don't need internet connection then uh, yeah our LaTeX equations we can just do something simple over here then we run this it works so that is that 